G'day guys, welcome back. I'm out here today doing some redfin fishing on the local lake. I've been doing this a fair bit recently, just started fishing this lake and I'm really liking it. There's a lot of small fish, but there is the odd big one. And they like to hang out in these, these reeds here. So normally, so you can't really fish stuff like blades and even just normal plastics, hard bodies throughout this sort of stuff. So I've sort of been thinking outside the square a bit and I've stumbled across a new technique and that's using skirted jigs for redfin. So there's one there. This is a little Kitek. It's a 332 ounce, I believe. Um, and I've got a little trailer on that. Basically what I've been doing is just casting it in the pockets of the weeds and also the edges. And because it's weedless and quite heavy, it just sort of moves through this quite easily. Um, and just been fishing that on a bait cast. I'll tell you more about the setup later. But I just thought I'd put together a video because I haven't filmed much recently. So I put together a video and just see if we can get a few, show you guys how I'm doing it. And who knows, maybe it might be a new technique. Might be a bit hard for you guys to see today because I'm fishing on an angle and I've got the chest man on, which is a bit annoying in the kayak, but we'll see how we go anyway. So I'll start off with the technique. Pretty much I just cast it out there if I'm fishing open water. I'll cast it out and I'll just do a few twitches, a bit like a soft plastic. Just a couple of fast twitches, let it sink to the bottom. So see the line go slack and that's when it's hit the bottom. So it's pretty simple really. Often you'll get bites as you're moving it if the fish are quite active. Otherwise they'll hit it as it's sinking or when it's on the bottom and you'll lift the weight up, the rod up, there'll be weight there and um, you just set the hook fairly hard because these lures have got a wee guard on them so you give them a good hook set and usually they'll stay pinned if they eat it properly uh, the setup I'm running is a Magecraft Benkai BFS rod 6 foot 5 uh, 3 to 10 pound it's actually a fairly cheap rod it costs you around 150 posted from Japan and I can't really fault it I've caught everything from barrow catfish and of course redfin on this rod and it's performed really well for me so far and it's got quite a light tip so it doesn't feel too heavy yet it's still got enough guts to bring him out of this sort of cover here and the reel is a dial alphas sv probably the alphas air might be a bit better for this sort of situation but the sv is still quite a good reel this doesn't cast light lures as well but it's launching a a 1 16th lure out there and I've cast 132 on it so yeah it does do quite well with those light lures so that's the gear I'm running and now we just gotta wait for some fish got him he had that as falling there I just felt that weight and with red can you get a lot of them this sort of size I don't know if you could even see that much, but you get a lot of them this size, um, especially in lakes where there's not a lot of food. This lake here, there's quite a lot of food, but they still seem to stunt anyway. But they're good fun at this size. You will get bigger ones. Um, just some lakes have a lot of them this size with your bigger ones. Some lakes have uh, just big ones, but yeah. Put him back. There's a bite, fish. Got a bit of fight to him. He's still not big though. Oh, he's... No, he's about the same. But as you can see, they're eating that jig really well. Oh. Which means they obviously want it today. He's bigger than the last one, but not much. Still quite a small fish compared to some of the other ones I've caught in my past videos. Yep, there's another one. They're on fire today. Swing him up. He's a little bit better, that one, actually. <laughs> That's uh, not saying much, but he did seem a little bit bigger than that last one. Just came in. Yep, that just came out there. Ooh, <laughs> right up in there. He hit that pretty hard as I was just bringing it up, so. 
that's the sort of area that the jig comes in handy because you can just bring it through weed beds and it, it doesn't get hung up as easily as the, the standard plastic and there's the reward. Got him. Another nice little fish. Fun size. Not too small, but not too big. So I would rather catching big ones, actually. He released himself. Got him. I'm gonna have to say this fish is the biggest of the day. I, not by much, but it, I'd have to say it's the biggest of the day. Got him. Running really a loose drag and that's probably why. Sounds like he's playing up a bit. Right out where that school was before. I was just trying to find him again so I could throw a jig at him, but... Yeah, little guy on the plastic. Got him. On the jig. Another one. There we go. Got him. This is playing up. <laughs> he comes jumping out of the water there. All out of energy. Alright guys, I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, mostly because my camera is running out of battery and I forgot the spare. And also we're just catching the same size fish over and over again. So. Hope you enjoyed though, hope you learned something about jig fishing, give it a go yourself, especially in these weedy sort of lakes and you might be surprised, so hope you enjoy.